And while we're here, let's just add a nice uh, rim light to this flower. It's looking a little dark there. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, let's just uh, hop into our view up here. I'm going to actually um, uh, make sure that I'm, my camera isn't locked so I can hop out of my view here. And I'm going to just kind of um, navigate around the backside of my flower and try and get into a position where I can um, shoot a nice rim light at these uh, flower petals over here. So once I get over here, I'm going to click on the redshift light uh, from the menu up here. Actually, I want to escape and control click on the redshift light, and that actually will create a redshift light. I'm just going to push in uh, a little bit closer to the flower. And um, let's see what, we're, what we got right now. Let's turn that on. And I can see it's illuminating, but what I want to do is actually kind of spotlight this a little bit. So we'll call this the um, we'll call this uh, flower rim. Let's um, look at the light options here. I'm gonna go and maybe make the uh, let's just I'm gonna actually over here I'm gonna split my view left and right, and uh, let's go two views side by side. And here I'm gonna just select the um, from this top menu, I'm going to select uh, perspective Oops. or set view to perspective viewport. There we go. And let's actually make this light a, uh, a circle. So I'm going to flip to a disc mode here on my light option. And I'm just going to make the size a bit smaller. I'm going to bring it down to about uh, 0 0.1 something like that. And then I'm going to reduce the spread significantly so that it's really like a spotlight hitting the, the, um, hitting this flower. And I'm going to kind of just come in a little bit closer and really let it kind of just hit the uh, backside of these flowers. I might uh, come up a little bit higher. Cool, and now let's uh, go unclick the lock here and go back to our main camera and uh, fire off a render here. Um, switch back, I always forget to do this. I'm gonna turn the render off, switch this back to camera one and render here. Let's get rid of the render region. And we can see that that flower is taking some nice, got some nice drama going on now with that rim light hitting it. I think I might just pop back into the uh, rim light one more time. So I'm gonna actually gonna look through the light on this side over here and say look through rim right here. And then, uh, not the rim light, I want the flower rim light. So what was that, flower rim. And then I'm gonna hit the lock and um, maybe just um, keep a region around the flower here. I'm just gonna rotate around a little ways to the side here. Maybe see if I can catch some more of the sides of the flower. Yeah. I also might just uh, bring down the, I might, I might push in a little bit closer and bring down the intensity of the, of the rim light. Uh, let's see. It's at a hundred. I'll bring it down to maybe let's try a 30. And I might just increase the spread a little bit. Let's go to one point, uh, point one five. And, uh, yeah, all that, you can tweak that to your heart's content, but uh, yeah. And that is the basics of rendering instances in Houdini. So now we have covered all the major um, elements of Houdini.